hello uh, welcome back to SQL tutorial so last tutorial we have seen about the commit uh, command in TCL so now we will be seeing about rollback command so how do we use that okay what is the importance of rollback this command will ignore or undo the DML transaction which are performed during the session which are not committed so last we discussed about commit right so commit means we are updating uh, it, it is like permanent update right so, so rollback is quite opposite to that so it will roll back the changes whatever the records that were inserted let's see an example syntax will be simple rollback note you should have a DBA access to use this command so in no, normally DBA will do that so select star from EMP1 so you can see two records now what I did is I deleted I deleted one record that means now you will be having only one record right so that means when I do a select select perform uh, select query so it will show only one record why because the earlier the one record was deleted now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll back it okay roll back means now uh, there is no commit being given right so when I do roll back and when I do a, uh, run a query so you can see two records back one record that was deleted that is Alex employee ID 1 or 2 that was there earlier that was deleted earlier so now it been came back so that's the importance of rollback that means that's the reason we say this command will ignore or undo the DML transaction which are performed during the sessions which are not committed okay thank you so much for watching this tutorial so I'll be coming up with more and more tutorial if you like this tutorial kindly do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more and more updates on SQL and many other technologies